Okay, let's learn place value in seven minutes. So this is the goal of this video. Now I'm going to um, apologize in advance and I'm sure this video is not going to go exactly seven minutes. I don't know um, how long these videos go when I start, but I think I'm going to kind of get it pretty close to seven minutes. So that's subjective here, but if you spend a short period of time watching this video, you're definitely going to increase your knowledge of place value. So if you're new to my uh, YouTube uh, channel, um, I literally have hundreds of math videos that can help you out. I'm a middle and high school math teacher, so I post all kinds of contents from basic math to more advanced math. So if you discover you like my material, hopefully you'll consider uh, subscribing. Also, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video to my full math learning program. I have lots of different courses and uh, kind of do my best work with lots of problems solved, uh, solved and examples, various levels of math, etc. But I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video if you're interested in that. Okay, let's get into place value. So what is place value? Well, place value is our system that we uh, use in order to create any number. Okay, so given the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, so we're given these digits, only these particular digits, and with these digits, I can form any number, okay, any decimal, any large number, small number, only using these digits. But how, is this, how does this work? Well, it all depends on what place these numbers are going to be in. So let's, let's just take a, uh, a four-digit number, okay? If I put this 9 in this place, it's going to have one particular value. But this same digit, if I put it in this place, it's going to hold a different value. So the value of the digit is going to be determined on what place it, it's, it's uh, residing, if you will, in the number. Okay, So that is our place value system, right? So just because I have a 9, well, the 9 can be, the 9 here means something different than the 9 there. All right. But how do we know this? Well, we know what value this is going to hold by using a place value chart. So let's kind of get into that here. Let me kind of erase this. Now, this uh, concepts of uh, place value and, and, and studying this, you, I could have used a more basic place value chart. So this is a little bit more advanced than what you're kind of used to um, seeing. That's fine too, but I wanted to be able to talk a little bit about decimals. I'm not going to be able to cover everything perfectly in this uh, short period of time, but hopefully, you know, uh, I'll be able to cover enough. Okay, let's get to it. All right, so let's take a look at this number, 36.476. Okay, 36.476. So we have a decimal point, and when the place value in the place value system, numbers or digits to the left of the um, decimal point are whole numbers, okay? These are whole numbers. So this is a whole number and this is a whole number. And these are going to be numbers that are going to be greater than one or one or greater. And then numbers to the right of or digits to the right of the decimal point are going to be less than one, okay? So these are going to be less than one. So this is kind of a comprehensive um, place value chart. Now when you learn this stuff like in elementary school you'll start off with a much more simpler place value chart but as you progress through your education you'll probably end up seeing something like this. So I wanted to kind of uh, you know give a little bit more of an advanced uh, chart. Okay so let's take a look at this. Alright so we have let's take a look at this 6. Okay so the 6 is a digit all right, between 0 and 9 but this 6 and this 6 Okay, we have two sixes here. They have different meanings. Why? Because well, this six is in this place, and this six in this is in this particular location. Okay, so this six right here, the one to the left of the decimal point, is in this location. So what does that mean? Well, in the it, right, it's the first digit to the left of the decimal point. It means the ones place. This so for this particular number, thirty-six. This this is indicating. Uh, six ones. Okay. Now, let's go. Let's take a look at this six over here, and then we'll kind of continue on. This is in the thousands place. Okay, the thousands place. So this this particular six is 
in a very very small incremental so you got the same digit but because it's in a particular uh, place a certain specific location it holds a different value so how you know that is by using a place value chart so let's take a look at this three here okay this three happens to be in the what it's in the tens place so what this means let's just focus in on this it's a little bit easier to see is that we have three tens, right? So you can see the 36. We have three tens, or three times 10 over here. Okay, so how many tens do we have? We have three. And how many ones do we have? We have six. So we have six times one. So this is what we call an expanded form. So three times 10 is 30, plus six is 36. So that's the value of this number to the left of the decimal point. Now, if I put a number, let's kind of, oops, let me kind of put another digit here. Let's put something like a 7 right here. So we have 736. If I had this number, 736 instead of 36.476, okay. Now, this number here, the 7 is in the hundreds place. So that means there's seven hundreds. All right, well, now we say it out loud, 700, 736, right? seven one hundredths and thirty six so think about how you say a uh, a number okay that's what we call word form now this video is um, would run too long for me to talk about word form and expanded form and standard form but I just want to get you a general feel of the place value system and the place value chart okay so again of course you could just ca carry this on a place value chart can be as large as you want it to be this can just continue on and on and on but I do want you to notice real quick that, that we're talking about powers of tens so let me uh, let me erase this here now let's talk a little bit more about the decimal uh, side of this okay uh, to the right so we so the numbers to the right of the decimal point are gonna be less than one so the first column here this first column actually let me write my number back up 36.476 so this number right here this four is in the tenths place this means one tenth okay so this point one is the same thing as the fraction one tenth all right and then we could just continue on right here this point zero one it says the hundreds place that's one over 100 so I want you to notice something here that the place value uh, system goes by powers of 10. Okay, now 10 to the zero power, that's just anything to the zero power is one. So you can see I have a one here. That's the ones place. 10 to the first power is just 10. So that's the tens place. Tens to the second power or 10 to the second power is 100. Okay, and that's the hundreds place. And here we have 10 cubed, that is 10 times 10 times 10, that's the thousands place. So you can see that this place value system is based on a power of 10. Here I have one over 10 or one tenth, and here I have one over 100 or one hundredth, and here I have one over 1,000. Same, uh, same concept applies. But again, what this number here, if we, I was to say it out loud, would be 36, uh, 36 and 476 thousandths. That's how I would say that in word form. And that's generally where a lot of students get confused. They, they, they struggle with how to say something in word form or write a number, a decimal in word form in, or uh, vice versa. So it takes practice, okay? Like really understanding the place value chart is it, it's, um, it's a critical part of our, our, of our mathematics system. Okay, this is how we form numbers, okay? So Anyways, hopefully this video, um, you know, was a pretty good general summary. Obviously, there's more uh, just because of the nature of time that I, I don't want to go into and make this video uh, much longer. But there is things that you have to practice in the place value, um, you know, uh, when you're studying place value. You're going to have to do different types of, of problems, etc. Okay. But again, hopefully this is a pretty good um you know, review for you, those of you out there. And, and there's no shame in it, by the way, if you're like in high school and you forgot how to do this stuff or even beyond because a lot of people don't remember it. No big deal. All right, so let's go and wrap up this video. Um, again, um, I'm posting all the time. So if you like my uh, math videos, uh, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. Again, um, if you're interested in my full comprehensive uh, math learning uh, courses, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video. If you like 
this video. I would certainly appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. What's confusing you on place value? Did you not even understand what it was? Um, are you struggling with decimals, fractions? Because it all kind of interlinks when you're, you're studying decimals and fractions. This all kind of plays a part of it. But going to meet some feedback, any feedback would be good. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics journey. Thank you for your time and have a great day.